Question modern. one. <laughs> what two superstars faced each other in the once in a lifetime main event of WrestleMania 28? 28? Yeah. Um, Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. <laughs> <laughs> that was Bash of the Beach 94. <laughs> Good try. John Cena and The Rock. Oh, oh okay. Where did you get My the name? Where did you get Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair from, though? Because, like, there's that. Okay. And, like, he's the one I know. And then Hulk Hogan's, like, Everybody I don't know. He hasn't, him. he knows. He, he's, like, the total 80s. <laughs> yes, he is the total 80s. <laughs> of, like, what we grew up in. All right, we got questions from people. Okay, so my first question is this. I'm going to see if anybody actually asked this. I'd be surprised if they didn't, if like a lot of people didn't ask this. Are you, wait, Let's, are you coming up with your own question? Is that yes, what you said? Oh, because. <laughs> ask Steve, or you ask Steve here. Because I, think we, got, I think we got this question before, but nobody's asking it right now. That's weird. How did you like PWG Bola Night 2? It was really exciting and fun. It was so hot, like so hot. Was, I couldn't yeah. even breathe in there. Yeah. Um, and then I was like on the ILC by the men's bathroom. Mm -hmm. So everybody was like knocking me the whole time, like every every second. Yeah, Somebody was getting up. I'm like, oh my gosh. But other than that, like the, the wrestling was fun. I always thought I was going to see somebody die, though. Yeah. Like always. Like, I'm like, oh, he's totally dead or paralyzed or something. Did that concern you? Yes, it concerned. It was like I was worrisome <laughs> the whole time <laughs> that I'm going to witness somebody's death here. Yeah. Yeah. Did any did any of the matches stand out to you? Uh, yeah. I mean, like, I remember them all, but it was the ones so of Robert Lee is something. Keith, the two big Keith men. Lee or yeah, something? Keith Lee. Yeah, because they're Walter. so massive. And I was like, they're going to break the ring. And yeah. Like, it's so. And then I'm like, just intrigued on how they were going to throw each other around because they're both like huge. Yeah. And I was like, wow, that's pretty impressive. Would you go <laughs> again? Um, it's okay to say no. You don't have to be like wrestling Mark all of a sudden. No, <clears throat> I would go. If it was like, ugh, gosh, if I had some air in there mm -hmm. and I wasn't by the restroom. Yeah, but you're okay. Here's the thing, though. You I know we could have picked any seat. Sorry, I didn't mean it. By the restroom. It's not like you can smell pee pee and poo poo. It was just the. The, the, the knocking. People running people into me. Because, yeah. And like hopping on my chair and like. Here's the I thing. I was constantly pushed around. <laughs> here's the thing. PWG is just. It's just that experience. Like, it's funny because I bitch about, um, with Larson, I bitch about our WrestleMania this past year, how, you know, we were packed in these seats. We talked about this on the show the other day. We're packed into these seats and, and everybody's all close together. And it, it was like brutally hot for like the first half of the show. And, but th there was also like these nasty strobe lights coming at us. But like the thing about PWG is that you can see the, like you're, you're never further away than like 50 feet away from the action most often you're like a lot closer than that. So you can always see what's going on. You can always experience like the wrestling. And on top of that, like all of the bumping around and like people going around you and trying to get to places to me, it was just, that's just your communal experience because nobody's here's the thing about PW. Nobody's like a dick about it. No, they're not. Nobody's like, Oh, screw you. Why'd you just do that? You know? No, it's not like, at all. He's trying to get from one place to another. So whatever, I'm going to let him go by. No, no, no. It, it, it was fine. I don't do well when I'm hot and sticky. Mm -hmm. I don't want people to touch me when I'm hot and sticky. I just yeah. feel gross. Like yeah. I'm gross. Um, so that's the only thing. Because ah. I feel like I'm getting somebody's sweat on me that I don't know. I don't yeah. know. It's just different. I, I what are you doing down there? Go away. And it was like not just one person. Like if I'm packed in with like somebody on the side and somebody. It's like every person that was at the show, I literally had their sweat on me. Yeah. Like every man that walks by, I have their like sweat on me. <laughs> so that was the only difference. <laughs> like... If it's just me and dude, I'm yeah, good. Yeah. But like my seat, and I know you could pick your your seat anywhere. And I thought the end would be okay, not knowing that the bathroom was behind me, mm -hmm. because I didn't want to be like so claustrophobic. Yeah. I don't know. So that's 
that's what it was. That's what. So under the under the circumstances that it's nothing like the experience we went to, you would go again. <laughs> We're going to get some questions from actual friendos here. Manuel Garcia de Paredes asks, Lacey, what have you liked the most about wrestling since you've been introduced to it? Because you weren't like, you didn't really know anything about wrestling like before we met. And in the eight years, you picked up like a tiny bit of knowledge. I used to know stuff. No, 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 no. Because when you had, uh, when I had a different shift, you yeah. would watch like go, you would watch the Raw mm -hmm. on Mondays. or And I would sit there and then you'd tell me like what's going on with the storyline. Mm -hmm. And I was hecka into it. Like... It was about the time when you, Dean Ambrose had that like cage match. Okay. Where he was like, remember? And I knew that whole storyline mm -hmm. kind of thing. That's where I was like, oh, okay, this is cool. Mm -hmm. So I like the stories because it's like drama. And I don't think they had the girls as much. Well, no, it was when CM Punk and then it was like that AJ. Mm -hmm. AJ Lee, yeah. It was around that time. Okay. Yeah. And I liked all that. That was cool. That was before that was before what they called the woman's revolution. So it was like basically AJ Lee. It was just basically her and then a bunch of people that like it was it was kind of I think that might have been around the time Paige came around. Um but yeah, before them there was really it was all like they they were still doing the models thing, like people who couldn't really wrestle. Yeah, it wasn't there wasn't a whole like the diva thing. Yeah, there was no yeah. like other section of of wrestling. So I don't know how it is now because my shift, I'm not home to where you're watching it. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, because you would just explain it. Like I'd either be on my phone or whatever. And you'd be like, and this blah, blah, blah. And then I'd ask you questions. And then, yeah. So. You like the story. I like the stories. Yeah. Uh, Nathan Raglan. What's your guys' plans for any disasters from hurricanes or typhoons to nuclear weapons? All that stuff seems very possible. Florida's about to get hit by another hurricane right now, Hurricane Irma. And, uh, you know, Texas just got hit by Harvey. And then North Korea has, like, a nuke that they're putting on a missile that apparently can reach us, like, literally the West Coast. So all that's really bad. Um, what We have zero plan. We have zero plan. But if there is some shit that goes down, I can make clothes because I sew. Yeah, so. I don't really have any skills that aren't that yeah, are related like, to survival. Yeah, like, what are you going to be in our little tribe? What is that... <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'll be I'll be the historian, the guy who 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 writes down. That's important. Like oh, on, like a journal, like on a scrolls. Web. What happened? I'll draw pictures. I won't write any words. They'll have to figure it out from my comic book pictures. Right. Okay. So I'll do that. And it's on scrolls, huh? Probably because you're gonna find scrolls. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no papers, no longer. Well, they'll be like, dude, we have an entire reams of paper here, and I'll be like, no, I only use scroll now. <laughs> right. <laughs> and they're like, why are you talking like that? Like because everything is and like end. you use one of those what is it quill pens? Yeah, use a quill pen. but we have pens. I'm <laughs> exactly. like, why don't you want to use? We this? have an entire box of number twos. <laughs> I'm like, no, I only use quill. I feel like you'd be kicked out of our tribe pretty really quickly. quickly. <laughs> pretty quickly, yeah. Some alpha male would come and drag you away as right. his, as his prize. I need underwear made. <laughs> I need I'm like, underwear oh, made. Exactly. You're so smelly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I keep on meaning to like. Get like a duffel bag, like a large duffel bag, and fill it with like necessary supplies in case the, the, the you know. We didn't even do that when we were preparing for Bama to be born. So I don't know. Like, you know how people usually Talk about get a, a disaster. bag? <laughs> you get a bag ready yeah. for to go to the hospital. I don't, we I don't didn't. Think we did that. Mm. No, yeah, we did because we had to be there for 48 hours. So he brought some stuff. I, we, brought, we didn't have it prepared. We brought the Game of Thrones DVDs. We did it when as. As the time. That, oh, that's true. I know because it's so it's so dramatic. Like you think in movies, like oh, water breaks. Get me to the hospital now. For us, like you literally knew you were going into labor, and then you went to go pick up the kids from like <laughs> their dad's house. Yeah, but then when I got there, they're like, uh, "You're like at four or five. Like yeah. you should do this now." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see here, Jose GGR. What would you have in your dream home that you don't have in your current home? A freaking maid. A, like a nanny or a maid or somebody who will pick up this house because it's constantly a mess. It's did he did he mean like structurally? Because that's what I got from you know, that. What would you have in your dream home? A person to pick up our crap because nobody picks up in this house. Okay, I want that as well. I also would want to cook because I want healthy yeah, they'd foods cook made. Also, yeah. Like healthy foods, so I'm like anything under this amount of calories, hook it up. Yeah, totally. so that I could like yeah. lose weight. 
Um, and also they doubled like a fitness expert. But structurally, yeah. I've seen in dream homes. You got to talk towards this mic. Sorry. There you go. Dream homes. Yeah. I want that whole. I've seen one where it's like you, the pool starts off inside. <laughs> and then you can like that walk and sounds swim. like a mess, dude. That sounds like a mess. And then you can if we'd have a if we have a dream home like that, yeah. then we'd have a pool guy. But yeah. like then you just go out and then there, it's like the forever. All right. Yeah. That's that would be awesome, wouldn't it? You could J chill in your house and then be swimming like an indoor pool, but then you can just like swim out to that outside. Sounds, that sounds horrible. Right. <laughs> like we'd find Bama drowned. No, it just sounds. Dude, it sounds really bad. That's not Look, how the it correct would be. answer is basketball court. That's all I want. I want a basketball court and then a huge field. So I'm cool with that because you could ch- change it to um, the racquetball. Oh, that'd be like fun it too, yeah. could be both. That'd be cool. I went to school with somebody that had like that under their thing. Liam Wagner, what was your first concert? Who was it? When? Where? And who you guys have you guys ever gone to shows together? Yeah, we've, we've gone to plenty of shows together. <coughs> what was your first concert? Yeah, no, I'm not telling anybody. Really? I'm not telling Is anybody. Is that bad? I know you've told me before, but I can't remember what you it was. You can't remember? It's was so it, bad. Oh, I know what it was. Wasn't it Millie Vanilli? <laughs> yeah. So that wasn't, hold on, that doesn't qualify as a concert because they weren't singing. Uh, <laughs> that's like the, I don't know. Didn't one of them die? I think he committed suicide, dude. You know, how great would it be to be at the concert that they were exposed like, why do people trip about that? People do that all the time now. Like, half the tracks for, like, pop concerts. Because it wasn't like, their music at all. Oh, that's right. They never... Yeah, that's right. They didn't see it. It was some place. other dude. Yeah, you're And right. they were just the faces. Crazy, right? Oh, that's funny. I love this. What? In On their Wikipedia entry, it says past members, but then it boils them down to representative right. Fab and Rob, and then actual, and there's one, two, three, four, five names. So five different people did their did vocals. Their, yeah. That's insane. So um, Girl, I'm trying to think my true. second one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gosh, my second oh, wow. concert. So this dude, Charles Shaw, was reportedly paid $6,000 to perform the rap on Millie Vanilli's hit single, Girl, You Know It's True. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, according to another vocalist who performed on Millie Vanilli's songs, Jody Rocco Shaw was fired by Frank Farian shortly after the release of the song because he threatened to tell the public about his involvement with the record. Wow. What the heck? That's crazy. I want to now I want to read all about Millie Vanilla. And I really I don't know what my second one was. Like I my honestly, friend had had told me Chad said that we went to some like Hootie and the Blowfish, but I don't remember going. Man. You just had like yeah, I know. the greatest hits. I know. Um, <laughs> it was like, but somebody else, I think, headlined it. I don't remember it, though. But he was like, no, we went. But I, I can't remember it. I think, I think. I don't remember. I think my first concert, I think it was Janet Jackson. See, that's cool. I wish mine was like Madonna. Yeah, like, where cool. was I when Madonna, like, she was my favorite. You're like, Madonna, who needs her? I've got Millie Vanilli. <laughs> Girl, like, you know it's true. Oh. <laughs> my stepmom took me. I know. That's that's really And sweet. my dad. Hey, I'll say this. I know. I actually, you know what's funny? Now that I think about it, I actually think, and this is the funny part, I think Millie Vanilli was the first cassette tape I ever bought. Oh, really? I think that was the first cassette tape I ever bought. And the funny thing is, it was Millie Vanilli's greatest hits. They they released a greatest hits literally after their first album. I have no idea how. How did that even happen? And if I recall correctly, it was a two it was a two cassette set. I don't know how it's even possible. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like then none of that makes any sense. It doesn't make Because it was before they were they were found out, which really wasn't that long after their debut. I and know. Yet somehow they had like a greatest hits. Weird. I don't know, man. Um no, my first, I think the first one that I bought was a Madonna, like True Blue or something. Mm-hmm. I was all about it. Uh, Jay Wood, if the two of you owned a country, what would you name it? That yeah. guy's going to name it like Friendoville or something. You think so? That'd yeah. Cool. No, I name it, I want to name it something cool. Like, you know. Oh, can we name it? Can we name it the Great Gatsby? No, You're that's, so that's, annoying. That's if our guess. So we were, we were on the road and... <laughs> There was a gas station that we pulled off on on our way to L.A. And I said, if I ever owned a gas station, I'd call it the Great Gatsby. 
And I've been trying to get a shop name for my shop, and he can't come up with one. Yeah, I'm and not, it's, I'm not clever. And he's and then he comes pulls that one out of the air, and I'm like, seriously. Well, then name your name your shop the Great Gatsby. I that's what I said, but then you didn't. Doesn't make any sense. To. You're not selling gas. <laughs> well. Oh, and does again, it have to? Here's another good question from. Uh, oh, real quick, uh, Piper wants to know what's our favorite movie. I think <gasps> my favorite movie is The Graduate. It's either Graduate or Pulp Fiction or Train Spotting. Well, I always like True Romance because we yeah. named Bama Alabama. Well, you I liked that, that movie before we named her Alabama. Yeah, I've liked it since it came out, since I saw it in yeah. the theater, yeah, like in 92, 93. I'm glad that I have a wife who has a good good taste in mm. like favorite movie. Yeah, I love it. Uh, Karen wants to know, what are five things besides the family and Gypsy would you grab from in the house in an emergency evacuation? They're like, yeah, I gotta get out of here now. I would get these I'm are like, kind of, these are probably boring answers to be honest with you. I would get my laptop. I would probably take my camera. That's an expensive camera, <laughs> and I'm assuming we're coming back because we still have work to do. So there's two. So I would say I'll put it this way: we'll just lump one my podcasting equipment. I'd run in here, I'd get a duffel bag, I'd start throwing all my podcast equipment in. But then we have four more things that we can take. What will we take? Emergency situation. And we're assuming we have on winter clothes. Like, I mean. That you don't need clothes. I don't need clothes. I don't know. Really, everything is so. Like, I'm not attached to anything, which is like weird. I would, you know, I would. I wonder if I would bring. Although. I'd bring a blanket. Yeah. You, we wouldn't bring Turbo, our ashes of Turbo. Oh, of course. Oh, Turbo. Oh, but then again, he's kind of taking up space again. I know. And then it's like, what are we going to do? Like, am I going for, like, should I grab, like, matches? Like, and knives? Like, am I going, like, or is it, like, things, souvenir ish things? Yeah. We should probably invest in a gun. No. No? No mm -mm. gun? Really? Mm -mm. But, dude, what if, like, the it goes down? You think we're not going to be able to, like, what if things really happen? We need to protect ourselves with a gun, mm. AK-47. I don't know. No. Would like you if bring, you got would like you bring a little stupid safe. stuff, like would you bring stupid stuff, like your, uh, like your, like your uh, hair no. dryer? No. no. Uh -uh. What is that called? Hair blower. The hair dryer thing. <laughs> the <laughs> yeah. blow dryer. The blow dryer. I like that. You, you don't know the name of it. Um. No, I'd probably grab like picture. Everything's on my phone now, mm -hmm. so I don't know. Like, I'd definitely grab my phone and then, I don't know, stuff. Oh, my sewing stuff. Because if it goes down, I need to, like, have my trade. Mm -hmm. So, like, I have a case with all my stuff in it. Yeah. Grab that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'll be like. That's like currency, give too. Me, yeah. I'll yeah. be like, I'll make you stuff. You know, Gypsy is right here next to me. I she can't her. stand that we're next to I each know. other. She's so annoying. Like we can't even be together and, without Gypsy. Are you a good girl? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> well, if she doesn't move, it's just her tail. I love uh, her. Official lurker Claire S. Is there any one belief that Steve holds that Lacey will simply never come to terms with and vi or vice versa? Is there anything you believe that I will never believe? Do you believe in ghosts? I forget. Oh, yes. I hate that he doesn't. <laughs> Because I'm like, that was so scary. And he's like, you're so dumb. That was blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And I'm like, no, it wasn't. Me and Summer are on the same page, my daughter. Mm -hmm. Like, she'll come and be like, guess what? And then Stephen's like, you're dumb. I never said she's dumb. I say that ghosts aren't real. She says, oh, there were sounds in my room. And I, I just immediately say, wasn't a ghost. I know. Yes, it was, Stephen. Yes, it was. Can't we have a little fun? Like, can't we just... No, he's a party killer. I'm not a party killer. Just keep it real. That's like, what he I say. can't come to our sleepovers keep because he would be like, you know no. What? Your sleepovers are bunk and they smell like farts. <laughs> Light as a feather, stiff as a board. You'd be like, nope, doesn't work. Doesn't work that way. Um, oh, here we go. That's a good question. Uh, Robert Stack says, if you two were, were to develop a video game, what would the premise be and what would the gameplay be like? So what would our kind of game be like? Would it be like a Fallout role-playing game would it be like your diablo 3 which you like a lot i couldn't hang with the diablo 3 i can't get into that that's so weird so i'd want it to be i just find it boring oh oh i know what your, your answer should be 
It would be so when we were in LA, we yeah. went to the IMAX VR facility and we played uh, like it's called Raw Data and so... it's a multiplayer VR thing where you just go around like shooting robots that are coming at you. It was so much fun. I could have done it all day long. Yeah. All day. We got to get one of those uh, the PlayStation the PlayStation VR things, or an I know. Oculus Rift or something. So it would be would it be a v, it'd be a VR thing, right? Definitely. What would be your best case? So see, I think it'd be cool to do like so we wanted to do the paranormal yeah. activity thing. So it would be like a cross between Paranormal activity, but then multiplayer shooting. Right. Yeah, but then. But I don't know if the paranormal would have been too scary. Like I would have to go see how it would be. But then you know it'd also be we'd also add elements of the Fallout RPG, so we'd be yes. roaming around town in VR with each other. That would be so rad. Yeah, what would the and game... then like build stuff? Yeah. What would the game be called? You name it. Oh, why me? You know that I'm not the. Come on, name it. I don't know. The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby. <laughs> I think we've used that before. I think we have to. I don't know. We would. I. I'm not very good at names. That's why my shop name is not creative. You don't and have like, I yet. want a new one, but can't come up with one, so I can't really start my whole. You want to start your empire? Your yeah, Etsy, your I, have to, I want empire. to start it over. You don't even don't know what like... you want to make, though. Like, I have you don't even... stuff that I made. Uh... Like what? Like blankets and pillows and clothes. But and you don't have like like a regular steady stream of things. Why does it matter? I, I can do what I want. Because I guarantee it's my empire. As soon as you pump as soon as you promote your show here on this channel, it'll blow up and you'll have like twenty orders and you'll be like well, you'll sell out like immediately and then people will want more but you don't have any more. Well, we don't have a name. So I can't I, I have Bama's dolls and things, but I don't like that. Yeah. I want something better. Yeah. More catchy. So Ew. What's up? Oh. Okay, here you go. Uh Broken Jedi. If you guys hit the lotto, would going in raw still exist? Or would oh, you say yeah. screw it and retire early? No. He loves it. <laughs> he loves all this. Did you like when I showed you when I paused the TV? And somebody had, and Trent Kilo Vega had the going in raw sign. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> he just loves doing this. Like, if he if it wasn't going in raw, it'd be something else to this effect. Like, it's just he's always doing this stuff since I've met him. But you would retire. Oh heck yeah! Like right now, immediately, <laughs> never go back. F yeah. you, everybody, punch everybody in the face. Well, we only have a year and a half left. Gosh, it can't come soon enough. Uh, last question, Eric Blaha. Would you eat the other spouse's boogers for cash? Hell no. For he can I tell him what you do? A thousand dollars. No. Oh yeah, you can tell him. I don't care. He always picks his boogers in my car and then puts them in there. So gross. Yeah, let's be like. How do you feel about that? Around. All the time, or he'll go. <laughs> like he's so gross. This is what I married. Yeah. Like, he's so nasty. You're okay with it, though. Like, I'm not, though. <laughs> you're secretly going to I'm secretly going to You're like, yes, get a gun. I'll shoot you with it. <laughs> no. Um, but somebody said $1,000 and you eat Steve, one of Steve's boogies. No, hell no. Ah, Couldn't pay me enough. I would because I love you. It's a test of love. That's what this is. I love you. I would eat your boogers for free. If, no, if I the PO, oh, God, it's so gross. I would eat it if the PO said, you can retire now. Really? Yeah. So it'd be that much. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'd be set free. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe one of like, people like. <laughs> it was great. It was fantastic. Anyways, on that, that's it. Uh, leave us questions in the comments, or you patrons, keep an eye out on the Patreon for next week, and we'll put put out another question thread for you guys. Till then, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.